Welcome back to Channel 8 News. The Student Govern or Governing Association concluded their election last month, but how many students actually came out to vote? Channel 8 reporter Emma Carter has the numbers. With the conclusion of the Student Governing Association elections last month, Kansas State gained a new student body president and vice president. The campaign of Jordan Keel and Lacey Pitts won, receiving 511 more votes than Paloma Roma and Michael Leverett's campaign. While this turnout is more than in years past, less than 20% of the total school population came out to vote. Freshman Lucy Koopman shares her feelings on the election. I really didn't know about the SGA elections. I, the most I would see from it would be little chalk things on the ground. Some students may be unaware of what exactly SGA is in charge of. The privilege fee is a good example. According to Kansas State's website, each semester individually students pay a little over $400. Multiply that by all the students who meet the requirements and elected SGA officials have close to $17 million at their disposal. There are many areas that the money goes to, with the three main ones being the Student Union, the Recreational Center, and Student Health Services. Student body president-elect Jordan Keel has more on why students should be aware of this fee. Um, on the SGA website, we actually have a breakdown of privilege fees, um, or over 400 that you pay where each dollar goes to you actually is broken down so you can really see kind of where it's, all, where it's all ending up. As for future campaigns, it will be up to them to ensure voter turnout continues on an upward path. So Lacey and I actually went around to a lot of different clubs and organizations. That was one of our really big pushes, and I think we've kind of seen a shift in a lot of the um, past SGA elections in the last couple of years to really make that push going out to students. Jordan Keel and Lacey Pitts will begin their term August 20th. In Manhattan, I'm Emma Carter, Channel 8 News. If you are interested in more information regarding the privilege fee, you can visit the K-State website or by attending an open session hosted by SGA.